Hey guys, and a very warm welcome back to What's For Tea, and I hope that I find you all very well indeed. Right guys, tonight I'm making chicken hot pot. I actually filmed this and the chicken stroganoff from last week's, you know, Meals of the Week, and I asked you guys what one you would rather see. I created a wee poll on my last video and asked you guys to vote, so you've done that, so thank you very much for everybody who took part, that was a wee bit of fun. 76% of you wanted to see this, guys, so that's why I'm doing the chicken hot pot. The other 23% wanted to see the chicken stroganoff, so I'll pop that up at some point as well. Right guys, so this is what you're going to need if you want to give it a go. First of all, you'll need 900 grams of uh, chicken of your choice. It could be chicken breasts, chicken fillets, anything you like really, as long as it's boneless. You'll also need one large chopped onion. You'll need 100 grams of peas and 100 grams of diced turnip. I'm just using frozen peas and frozen diced turnip, but feel free to use fresh if you like. 900 grams of sliced potatoes. You can leave the skin on or take the skin off. You'll also need a pint of chicken stock. You'll need a teaspoon of rosemary, two bay leaves, or you can also use a teaspoon of thyme if you prefer, and one teaspoon of sage, two diced carrots, and three tablespoons of plain flour. Right guys, so that's everything you're going to need. So let's pop over to the cooker and see what we do next. First thing you want to do guys is get a large pan a large frying pan on and get your oil in there. So you want to heat your oil up and then pop your chicken in. You just want to give this a wee sort of cook to make sure, you know, it's sort of cooked all the way around, but you do, it doesn't need to be cooked through because it's going into the oven for a couple of hours. It's just to get some of the nice flavour out and into the pan, really. I suppose this would be the equivalent of sort of browning beef if you were going to be using beef. Same kind of idea. Like I say guys, you can use any chicken you like, just provided it's boneless because obviously it's not a dish you'd want sort of bones in. And once it's sort of halfway done guys, I just go around my chicken and chop it up into bite-sized pieces with my food scissors. I just use these scissors, you know, specifically for chopping sort of raw meats and things. Just give it another wee cook for a few minutes. Once you're at this stage, guys, you know, that, that's you. You can sort of lift it out and put it into a bowl and just set it to the side to rest for a few minutes whilst you do the rest. Yeah, this is incredibly tasty, guys. It's lovely, and it's a really nice alternative to beef. So that's that. So that's your chicken. And to the oil, you just want to pop your onions in, guys. Just sort of give them a cook for a few minutes to take the rawness off. Until they start to go translucent. Well, I've picked up all that lovely flavour of the oil and the chicken. I can, I can remember how this smelled. It was, I love the smell of cooking onions. Mmm. My mouth's actually watering. So you want to reduce your heat, guys, and pop your flour in. This is just going to act as a thickener. Just cook that with the onions for a few minutes. It's going to help to thicken your gravy up when it goes into the oven. So a nice low heat, guys. And just stir it round gently until everything's coated. Just cook it off, I would say, three or four minutes, maybe. And you want to turn your heat off altogether, guys, and throw your herbs in. Now, I didn't actually end up using bay leaves. I actually substituted my bay leaves for a teaspoon of thyme. So we're just using some thyme, some rosemary, and some sage. And you want to dry fry that. And they just need to assemble now, guys. So you want to start off with a layer of your sliced potato. Just a thin layer. And you want to pop your chicken on top of that. And then your onion and your herbs. And my frozen peas and frozen diced turnip. 
and then the raw carrot. These are fresh carrots, these ones aren't frozen. And you want to pop your stock on top of that. I'm using actual chicken stock guys, but you can use just a, a cube if you don't have any fresh chicken stock. And then another layer of potato on the top of that. And that's it guys, easy peasy. Now you want to pop that into your oven for two hours and then it's going to take two and a half hours but after two hours pull it out and sort of go over the top of your potato with some melted butter and pop it back into the oven for the last half hour and that's going to crisp up the top. So two and a half hours altogether, guys, like I said, but two hours with the foil on and half an hour. For the last half hour, you want to take the foil off and brush the top with some melted butter. In case that wasn't clear. Because I don't think I actually showed you that step. No, I didn't. I didn't. Forgot to, I forgot to record that bit. And that's it, guys. Easy. And this is what you'll have at the end fab and all you have to do is pop it out into your plate and you'll already have seen these pictures because I popped them up last week but yeah we just had some um, carrots at the side of that we could have some crusty bread that would actually be very nice to sort of mop up the gravy or yeah that was amazing so thank you very much again guys for popping over and seeing what's going on until the next time hope hopefully you'll uh, pop back and I'll see you then and uh, take care of yourself. Bye for now.